Hi everyone, and welcome back to the series of electromechanical energy conversion price problems. And today we'll start with the transformers. So let's see this question. It says here it's 100 kVA transformer, 8000 by 277. So this is the primary voltage, and this is the secondary voltage. It's a distribution transformers, and we are giving the primary R and X, secondary R and X, and the core shunt element of the core which is rc that represent the core losses and xm which represent the magnetization branch it says the excitation branch which is the rc and xm are given refer to the high voltage side of the transformer which is the 8000 volt side then it says find the equivalent circuit of the transformer referred to the low voltage side Let's start with this one. Now, the first thing in any transformer problem, you need to know what is the ratio of the transformer, which is the primary, the 8,000, divided by the 277, which is the secondary voltage, and this will give me 28.88. So this is the ratio of the, of the transformer. Now, the question says that I want the equivalent circuit referred to the low voltage side of the transformer. Now, RS, and XS are the resistance and the leakage reactance of the low voltage side. So this is already no conversion is needed. They already given their value as a final value. Now what I need to convert is RB, XB, RC, and XM because RB and XB are the primary values which is taken refer to the high voltage side. And RC and XM, it's mentioned in the question, they were taken refer to the high voltage side. So I need to find R P prime, which will be equal to the five, divided by the ratio square. This is how we refer from the high voltage to, or to the low voltage, or from the primary to the secondary, we divide by A squared, and this will give us 0.006 ohm and xp prime is equal to 6 divided by a square and this will give me 0 0.0072 now here one thing that you need to know very important then when you refer the primary to the secondary or the secondary to the primary the value of the r and x will be at exactly the same level of the value there is no order of magnitude difference you can see here there is an order of magnitude this is 5 this is 0 0.005 but once you refer one to the other then they will be exactly at the same at the same level and that will give you indication that your calculation is correct now for rc prime is equal to the 50 kilo divided the 20 8.88 square and this will give me 60 ohm and the xm prime will give 10k divided by the 28.88 square and this will give me 12 12 ohm so now i know everything refer to the low voltage side then i can write my model so this is your r s and x s as given in the question this is your r p prime and x p prime referred to the low voltage side and this is your r c prime and x m prime so this is the magnetization and the core loss branch this is for the primary and this is of the secondary now when we refer everything to the secondary i s and v s stays as the r but the current of the primary will be A times IP, and the voltage will be VP divided by, by, by A. Now, this is the exact model. We don't need to solve the question using the exact model. We can use the approximate model. So I can move the primary to the secondary or the secondary to the primary. It doesn't really matter which one you choose because this is anyway an approximation, so there will be an error. So it doesn't really matter which side you move. So I moved this side 
the primary side to the secondary side, and I added the value. So I add that 0.006 plus 0.005, you will have 0.011 ohm, and same thing for the X. I add XP prime with XS, and we have this value. So now I have the full model referred to the low voltage side, which is the, the first part. Then it says here, assume that this transformer is supplying rated load. And it didn't say anything about this rated load, but we are given here at the beginning, this is the rated value of the transformer. It is 100 kVA. So this is the maximum power it can, it can deliver, 1000 kVA. At 277, which is the voltage of the, of the secondary voltage, and 0.85 power factor lagging. So we are giving the S, we are giving the power factor. What is the transformer input voltage? Now the transformer input voltage will be your VB over A. That is the input voltage, and this is the output voltage, which is VS. And what is its voltage regulation? Okay, so let's do that. Now this will be a KVL, but before that, we want to find IS, the current in the secondary. So the current will be the rated current. So we have to use the rated power, which or, or rated S, which is 100 times 10 power 3, 100 kVA, divided by the 277, which is the rated voltage at the secondary. And this will give me the current of 361 amps. Now, this is just the magnitude. If I want to find the angle, we always use Vs as our reference, so it will have an angle of zero. So the power factor of the transformer, uh, secondary side, uh, or the load connected to the secondary side, will be the angle of the current. So your Is is equal to 361, angle of minus cosine inverse of 0.85, and this will give me 361 angle of minus 31.8 amp. So I know IS. So now I will take KVL. So VB over A, I will call it VB prime. Same thing. So your VP prime will equal to, just a simple KVL, will equal to my VS plus IS times 0.011 plus J point. 0132, just simple KVL. So this is equal to 277 angle of zero because it stated that the load is connected at 277. So your VS here is 277 and the angle is zero because VS is always our reference. Plus the current 361 angle of minus 31.8 times the series resistance and Reactance, leakage reactance, 0 0.011 plus J 0.0132. And if you do that, you will get this equal 283 angle of 0.4. So this is your input voltage. It says, what is the voltage regulation? Now, the voltage regulation, we always calculate it at the secondary, where the load is connected. We are only interested in the voltage regulation there, because this is, as a customer, the variation in the voltage, I will feel it at the load side, which is equal to Vs, no load, minus Vs, full load, divided by Vs, full load. Now, Vs full load, we know it. We are given it Vs equal to the 277. How about Vs at no load? So at no load, clearly from the diagram here, at no load, what does it mean no load? It means that your Is equal to zero. So it means that your Vs at no load is nothing but Vb prime. This is very similar what we used to do in the synchronous generator, which is equal to 283 angle of 0.4. So your voltage regulation will equal to the Vs at no load, the 283 as a magnitude, minus 277 divided by 277 times 100, and this will give me 
percent, which is a low value, which is desirable value. That's exactly what we want to to have. This is what are the cover losses and core losses in the transformer under the conditions of part B. So, in in the pre, as per the previous current values, we want to find the power the cover losses. And so this is part C. I want to find the cover losses and I want to find the core losses. Okay. And also I want to find the uh, in part in the second part, what is the efficiency of the transformers? So we want to find the losses, cover and core losses, and then I want to find the efficiency. Okay, perfect. So the cover losses, P cover, is equal to I S squared times R S total which is the 0 0.011. So the current that goes here, IS squared times the resistance, you will get the cover losses. Now this is the 361 squared times 0 0.01, 0 0.011, 0 .01 and this will give me 1430 watt. So this is my, my losses. Okay, perfect. If this is my losses, cover losses, what is my core losses? My core losses is the losses here, which is basically P core will equal to VP prime square divided by RC, which is equal to the VP prime, we just calculated that, which is 283 square divided by 60 ohm. And this will give me the core loss 1334.82 watt. So you can see here the core loss and the cover loss are somehow comparable to, to each other. And that is practical in the transformers. Okay, then I want to find the efficiency. Your efficiency is equal to P out over P out plus summation of losses. Now, what is P out? P out is your S times the power factor, which is the rated value, so which is 100 or 3 times 0.85, and this will give me 85 kilowatt. So your efficiency will be equal to 85 times 10 to the power 3 divided by 85 10 to the power 3 plus the core and the winding loss, okay, which is, here is the values. This is for the core and this for the cover loss, 0.82, and this will give me times 100, of course. This will give me 96.85%, and the transformer efficiency is usually very, very high. Uh, and if you remember, uh, or you know that for either transformer, we always assume the efficiency is 100%. So in reality, the transformer efficiency is not very far away from the, from the ideal scenario. 